there's the leopard's tail, which has become very interactive. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've never <laughs> ever had any in interactive work. I think it was Sean who did it for me. I got so excited. I thought, mm-hmm. she sort of zippy zappy now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so nice. Hello, I'm Shadow Twala and welcome to Invictus Podcast. My guest today is Diana Hislop. Hello, welcome and thank you for joining us. Hi Shadow, thank you. Good to be talking to you. I mean, you've had quite a journey as far as getting into the art world is concerned. You know, you started at Marvel Comics. Can you just tell us about that story up until you really started concentrating on art? Yeah, you know, I started in, uh, gee, when was it? (laughs) <laughs> Ages ago, in London, I got a, a job at Marvel Comics. Yes. And it was at the time when Spider-Man was big, starting to get famous, but not as famous, obviously, as now. You know, they hadn't made movies or anything of him. So he'd arrive at the office in his little outfit, and we'd do all these promotions, and it, it was a fabulous time to be there. They also started on uh, things like uh, The Big Hulk and Silver Surfer, mm-hmm. so I wish I'd kept some of the copies, which I didn't, but it was a fun job to have. I can imagine, because, you know, fast forward, here you are now, uh, as, as a very serious artist is exhibited all over the world. How has that um, Marvel Comics experience influenced what you do today and what you express today? Well, yeah, well it's quite interesting because, uh, you know, after I left Marvel Comics and I came back to South Africa, I got involved with uh, photography. So I studied that for a while and then I went into films. And it's like those comics or the films are like little film clips to me. So my art's sort of an extension of those little clips and capturing moments of time. So I think the comics influence me a lot. And, and, and it, it, it's just opened up a different conversation in the art world because you, you're you very much interested in the human condition and you juxtapose uh, what is, is unusual or unexpected into into your, your works. Yes. You know, I, I just want to take it away from the sort of photographic. So that's what I like doing is to juxtapose to make it a bit more zippy zap, you know, <laughs> not so... More fun, right? Yeah, more fun. I like that. Has that been your main influence, those comics, or are there other social issues that um, that impact your work currently? You know, I'm always looking at issues of human dignity because that's a lot of the work that I've done in film. When I, I was production manager, but I worked a lot with documentaries and those sort of issues. Mm-hmm. So it's always at the back of my mind that human dignity and uh, luckily, I was um, at a studio in downtown Joburg, and I met so many people, and it's just the dignity issue was the issue for me. So it comes into the work. Oh, I don't know, but it, you know, it arrives there. Is that you're talking about the bag factory now? Yes. Um, which and we we understand exactly how it could impact the way people are, are need more dignity as, as they get treated. Yeah, I, I can understand how you yeah. come to that, but that was stopped. Your work with the bag factory was stopped. Was it during or before COVID? It was during COVID. I went to, we went to Cape Town and then I sort of broke my foot and we sort of landed up staying there when um, COVID happened. Mm-hmm. So then by the time we got back to Joburg, everything had changed. Yes. And I couldn't work properly, and the studios were sort of quite empty. So, unfortunately, I left it. A lot of people say that was a rebirth of, of, of the way we see ourselves, but the way we work and the things we'd like to convey. How yeah. did it impact your personal work and what you do, uh, the pandemic? Did you take time to reflect on how you... Uh, perceive the kind of work that you, you you'd like done. Well, you know what happened because I was staying. We were staying at people's somebody's house, and we couldn't. I couldn't paint to do anything like that and make a big mess. So <laughs> I just started working on my computer, and it was just like a magical tool for me. There you go. I just got so drawn in, 
and absorbed and I could have quite a lot of fun in it. And if it didn't work, I could erase it. So it opened a whole world for me. So NFT lab was a natural progression then for you? Yes. And, you know, I think it's an exciting thing, NFT, because years ago when cryptocurrency just started, I thought, oh, I'm just going to put 5,000 rand in. And everyone thought I was mad. And I mean, it's probably not worth much now anyway because of the rain dollar. You're braver than me. Something new is important, you know, and I think uh, like the NFTs, it's a whole new world. It's fantastic, exciting. You braver than me. They, they say baby boomers w- are the ones that have been resisting for a long time. And they, there you go. <laughs> you invested <laughs> some time ago. So I applaud you for that. I'm, I'm just learning. And I'm hope, I'm, I know now I'm going to come to you to learn some more about how to deal with it. Now that you've had the experience, is it a good space for all of us to invest in art? Yeah, I think the future. You know the, how the world is going now. I just think the future is a creative world. Mm-hmm. And you see how many people are drawn into something creative and how they feel their soul nourished when they do anything creative. I think the world's heading there more than ever before. And so for you and, and this collection, what do you think you're bringing to the NF- NFT platform? My enthusiasm and my excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can feel such, it already but it's such a new it's so new and it's nice to be at the beginning of new stuff like that you know being I mean, part of the evolution of the world new. right yeah. and look how the world's changing we've mm-hmm. got to do different things now talk to me about your out of Africa uh uh, a collection contribution. I see. I see. There's there's the leopard's tail, which has become very interactive. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've never <laughs> ever had any interactive work done before. And then there was Sean. I think it was Sean who did it for me. I got so excited. I thought mm-hmm. she sort of zippy zappy now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> nice, I like it. So, so can you can you kind of unpack the leopard's tail for me? What 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 do, what do we see? You mean what it looks like? Yeah, can you just Outdoors. talk us through it? Well, it's just out of the bottom of the the top of the picture. You just see a bit of the leopard's sort of bum going like that, and the tail coming down into the picture. Mm-hmm. And now that just sort of moves this tail back and forward like that. And it looks great, I think. What was your intention with the picture itself? I've got a thing about leopards and animals in my work. Mm -hmm. I once did this little vision quest in the mountains where I was alone for four days. And I was terrified because I thought there was a leopard. But then I realized the leopard is a symbol of the watcher. And often I used to put eyes on the leopard Mm -hmm. instead of spots because... The leopard watches. So I use that image quite a lot in mm-hmm. my work, and that's how he came into this work. But what stole my heart, though, I must say, is friends, because it spoke to so many uh, things that we we starting to miss, especially after the pandemic. We all felt isolated. You know, you couldn't reach out to the people you cared for, and 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 just friends could could talk to so many other situations. Yeah, for me, it, it's quite a uh, just quite a sad picture because I was. I had one of my friends and their marriage broke up during the pandemic. Mm. And it was one side, we were together and we were very friendly and then you sort of had to take sides. And the third Mm. in that series was looking away, the head was looking away. So it was a moving picture for me how the pandemic had affected relationships Mm. quite a lot. Mm. So, so, so I, I take it then you've got your wallet ready for these this 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 uh, platform. You've got your wallet ready. You are you seeing anything that you think you're going to want to buy maybe, and how are you encouraging all your other artist friends, artistic friends, to participate and be part of this Out of Africa collection and join their NFT lab? You know that. Everyone's excited and they all think I'm being completely brave. And then they all say, oh, gee, your work will look beautiful and that. That's how I encourage them because they can see that it's something new. You're lucky that they think you're brave. Everyone thinks I'm nuts because 
I'm, I'm now so excited about this platform since I started talking to everybody about it. Uh, and I'm encouraging people as well. So I look forward to, to getting feedback from you. I look forward to just hearing about this platform, how it's grown. The, the, the other thing I, I want to just touch on very quickly is, do you think this is going to change how um, your work is priced or how uh, it is valued? Because who decides how much your, your, your work is worth? For artists, <laughs> that is the most difficult thing in the world. I know. I think. Well, I just hope it's going to go skyrocket. Yeah. But I don't know. So I'm just going to see how the market works and let's hope it just it opens up a whole lot of things. Well, I, I think I like the idea that it's it's going to create a, 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 a perpetual archive for people's art because it's always going to live in that space. That's what's fabulous because we do lith lithography and that, and we just, we've got to be so careful because we don't know if anybody's going to exploit it or, you know. But lucky I work with a fabulous lithographer, so he's very ethical. Yeah. You never know. And this is what I like about the NFTs. Yes. It feels safer because everything's documented and you know exactly what's going to happen, you know, and who's buying. And I like that a lot. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you, Diana. Thank you for, for, for chatting to us. And all the best. We'll catch up with you during the exhibition. Thanks Thank so you much. so much.